All right, listen. Don't forget to come back for me. As long as you're not dead, Fred. It's Frank. Frank West. So I just played Dead Rising Chop Till You Drop, and I... really wish I could get back the hour of my life that I just wasted on this admittedly impressive tech demo, but otherwise completely forgettable, regrettable purchase of a game. Like, this is the one that I hear so much of, that there are so many people who think that this was one of the most impressive Wii games, and from the standpoint of, hey, it's an Xbox 360 game, but remade for the Wii, and somewhat close to what the original Xbox 360 game was, yeah, sure, it really is that, but in the same vein of Call of Duty 3, can we really call that an achievement when it's this mediocre? Cuz, oh my gosh, this game is not a good time. It's a Dead Rising game where ranged weapons are the priority instead of melee, and where you get so much supplies that you never really have to worry about surviving. Where the plot is at its worst, and with some of the most cringeworthy voice acting you will ever hear. Where the AI is so brain dead that the zombies are honestly the most intelligent people to engage with. The control scheme feels like it was designed by someone who's never even seen a Wiimote nunchuck, just looked at an outline of the controls and was like, oh yeah, that'll work. We're talking full Force Unleashed 2 level, what were you thinking? Like the interact function for every context system of interact is A and Z. You have to do this constantly. It is never intuitive and I can't think of a single other game that ever did this. And I genuinely can't give you a reason as to why they did it here. There's not any good excuse. Nor is there an excuse that really makes satisfying for the fact that you have a loading screen at pretty much every single doorway. My first 20 minutes of the game, trying to figure out where I needed to go, was just loading screen, loading screen, and loading screen, and repeat. And then once I finally got to the zombies, it was all broken up by some really mediocre combat. They don't even really use the motion controls. Motion is so secondary to everything going on here that it feels like it wasn't built for the Wii. Like, this was going to be a PS2 game and they just were like, well, the Wii's selling better, we'll put it on there. I just don't know what to make of this game, heads or tails. There's nothing redeeming about it whatsoever. It's their unique oddity? I'm not tossing it out the window or anything, but I have no intentions of going back to it. This is probably one of the worst games I have played this year, and I have played some serious stinkers. Without a doubt, just don't touch this, don't look at it, don't even think about it. It's only a model. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of them, please be sure to like and subscribe because that actually helps a lot. And if you didn't like it, then please feel free to give a thumbs down, but also let's try and keep things simple in the comments section, yeah? Oh, and if you really like this video and would like to help ensure I can do more of these things, then please head down to the description and follow a link to my Patreon where you get special goodies if you chip in and help make this channel a reality. I'm the Underbridge Gamer, signing off.